And I went and seen this video of Pastor Greg Lott. I ain't had the opportunity to meet him, but man, they have a traffic jam down there in the woods. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how God shows up. And I had a vision of Don and Ron. They were actually not in a church. It was like a stadium. And there was thousands of people. And they were laying hands on them. And they were being cast out. Demons were being cast out. Come on, give God some praise. Yeah. And I know Pastor Ron gives God all the glory for that. But he is one of my spiritual sons. And I'm going to tell you something. He loves me. I love him. Mm -hmm. I love his wife. I love his yeah. mom. Uh, unfortunately, I had to bury my father-in-law uh, Thursday. And we buried my father-in-law, Melissa's dad, Thursday. Just a roll from Miss Evelyn Converse, that preacher woman. Mm -hmm. And Evelyn never backed down from preaching the true gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And I'm going to say this. I Listen up. We don't go on emotionalism. We go by the spirit. But I feel something in this church. Yes, amen. I sense a revival coming to this church. Yes. It's already here. Yes. Revival is nice. Mm -hmm. And if the Lord should tarry, I would, I would ask Pastor Ron to be very cautious before you move this church. And I'll say this in closing. You say, oh, my God. He said that just a few minutes ago. Right on. I had a great honor. How many of y'all know who John Kilpatrick is? Uh, the pastor of the Brownsville Revival. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, he was getting ready to move his church in Pensacola. It was in a, a nice area, uh, a retirement area. A lot of people went there. They were very wealthy. had a lot of money. And But there was a section over there that was in real poverty type area. And God spoke to him. He said, don't move this church. And I'm going to send a revival that's going to shake America. Yeah. Now I say this humbly, not to be arrogant. I know John Kilpatrick. Been in many meetings with him and been in his church and knew Steve Hill who preached that revival who went on to be with Jesus. And he was getting ready to move that move that church to a better area. Come on. Some kind of God shows up in the areas that you don't think that he'll show up. If you don't believe that, ask Pastor Greg Block who's preaching this church. Traffic jams. Three or four miles long for people to get to church. I'm going to say this, and I'm okay with this. This is the man that God has called for the deliverance Amen. of this area, and I just want to be a part of it. Amen. Come on, get that. Yeah. He had to lay hands on me because I'm going to be honest with you. There's no hidden sin in my life. I've been faithful to my wife. I don't steal God's money. Believe me, if there was anything there, they done plaster me on a plaster me on the pioneer new to be in a retired cotton preacher. Believe me. But not long ago, I went through a mental torment. It was the worst thing. Me and my friend Perry Stone. Let me y'all know Perry. Perry oh, yeah. went yeah. through mental torment. Perry almost had to leave the ministry. He went had to go see a psychiatrist, and I'm not criticizing that. I didn't do that. This man came to my church one night and prayed for me. Mm -hmm. When you invest back into people. They'll invest back into you. Amen. Yes. Come on, give God all the praise. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I don't want one ounce of glory. It's only by your grace that I stand here. And Lord, I love Pastor Ron and Sister Don. And I find any hindering spirit that would try to hinder this move of God, this deliverance, to start in the woods. And God, this is going to grow, Father God, until you split the eastern sky. And I see traffic jams. I see demons being cast out. I see dead being raised. Blind eyes. Woo! I'm talking about miracles that no yes. man can deny. God, I thank you for back pain being healed. I thank you for neck pain. But I'm talking the supernatural manifestation, God, of the power of the glory of God is going to reside here. And no devil, Woo. no demon is going yes. to stop it. And every one of them is going to be cast out of any of yes. us, God. Anything that we've got in our lives will yes. stop today yes. if it's not pleasing yes. to you. And all of God's saints said, Amen. Amen.